Hello there everyone and welcome to the Cat Life layering video. So first up I am going to take the largest of the images from the stamp set and this is the trio of cats so the A, B and C cat and I'm just going to stamp that into place using some of the obsidian ink from Alta New. So this is just a black ink for the outline. I'm then going to take the A1 layer and this is going to fit on the A cat and this is going to line up along the bottom edge so his tail, his feet and also his ear. So for this one I'm going to be using the mocha ink so I'm just going to add that to the places on the stamp that need the ink. So this will add like little patches on the cat which is very cool so I'm just going to pop that into place and that's going to add that little layer in there. This little cat also has a little bow. So for this one, I'm gonna be using the Shadow Creek so the bow can be found on the stamp set. And I'm just gonna pop that into place in the outline. I'm then gonna take the B1 layer and this is gonna line up again on the ears and also the tip of that tail. So for this layer here, I am gonna be using the Sand Dunes ink. So this is a slightly lighter one than the one before. I'm just going to ink that one up and then pop that back into place remembering to line up the ear and also the tip of that tail. The rest of the layer will sort itself out. This cat here has a little handkerchief or a neckerchief and for this one I'm just going to add this in using the pumpkin pie ink. And then I'm moving on to the third cat which is the C1 layer and this again is going to line up on the tips of the tail and also the tips of both of the ears. For this one I'm going to be using the Espresso ink to give a darker look to this cat but you could use different colours if you wanted to depending on the kind of cats that you want or you could even colour the cats first and then add the layers in. So once that one has been done in place I'm then going to move on to a different cat. So this is cat D. So this is the one that looks like he's stretching and I'm just stamping the outline in obsidian ink. So once I have that done, I'm then gonna take the layer, which is the D1 layer, and this again is gonna line up on those ears and also the tip of the tail. Most of the cats are gonna line up that way. For this one, I am gonna be using the Sand Dune ink, so this is gonna give me a really kind of soft look for the layers on this one here. So again, just lining up the tip of that ear and the tip of the tail. I'm then gonna move on to E, so this is cat E, so this is the one with the back to us. And the, again, the outline was done in the obsidian. E1 is the layer for this one. Again, lining up the tips of those ears and the tail for this one. I'm gonna be using the beautiful mocha for this one here. So I'm just gonna ink that one up and then pop him into place. Again, lining up the tops of his ears and also his tail. This one has a lot of little patches on this one. I'm then going to move on to the next cat, which is cat F. So again, for the outline, I've used the obsidian there. I'm then going to take the layer for him, which is the F1. And this one, again, is going to line up on that tip of that tail, but around the facial feature this time. For this one, I'm going to be using the pumpkin pie ink to look like a little red or orange cat on this one. I love the stripes. It's so, so cool. It's very cute. So once I have that one in place, I'm then going to move on to the last cat that we have in this set. And this one is G. Again, the outline is stamped in obsidian ink. I can then take the layer and this is going to line up at the top of his head, on his back and also at the bottom of his tail. And for this one, I'm going to be using the Rocky Shore ink again. So I'm just going to add ink to all of those little patch layers and then pop that into place. Again, lining up the top of his head and his tail for that one. And I'm going to move on to the little ball of string or twine for the outline. I'm using obsidian. I'm then going to add the circle within the outline that we just have using some Shadow Creek ink. Then on to the little mouse. Again, outline was obsidian. And for the layer, I'm going to be using the Rocky Shore, which is just going to fit in there perfectly. And there is all of the layering complete. We really do hope this video helps. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again really, really soon. Bye-bye.